this is the heartbeat of your bike. Every single ride you take, every road you conquer, it all relies on one thing, the engine oil. But here's the thing, waiting until your next service interval to change it might be too late. Most riders wait for their service schedule, but your bike engine is working very hard every time you hit the road, whether it's a daily commute or long adventure. Oil isn't just a check mark at 5000 or 10000 km as your manual says. It needs to be checked and changed based on how and where you ride. Long ride, high rev, tough condition, heat. Your oil can degrade faster than you think. And dirty and degraded oil won't protect your engine as it should. So don't just wait for your service schedule. Keep an eye on your oil regularly. Check the color, check the consistency. If it is darker than it should be, then it is time to change the engine oil, no matter how far you have ridden. Today, I'm going to show you how to check and change the engine oil step by step. It is easier than you think and it will keep your bike in top shape no matter your riding style. So let me gather all the tools and the consumables and let's get started. So to change the oil, you will need the following. First, the engine oil of your choice. So here I am selecting Motul 7100 10W40 and this oil is Jasso and MA2 compliant and this is recommended by Royal Enfield. I selected this oil because of its availability and the cost. So I was also considering AMS oil as suggested by many forums but that oil is very difficult to procure and it is very costly. So for now I am going to use this Motul 7100. We will uh, test this oil and if it is performing better then I will keep using this oil else I will switch to some other oil and will let you know. Next you will need this 14mm Allen key. This Allen key is required to open the oil filter cap and I know it could be difficult to find this 14mm Allen key. So later in this video I will tell you a desi jugaad so that you can open the cap easily at home and without this Allen key. You will also need a 10mm socket to open the sump guard. Also you will need this 17mm key to open the drain bolts. And the most important part to change the oil is the oil filter itself. So this is the oil filter, the part number is 574297-D and uh, this filter is same as of the Himalayan 411. So it is very easy to find. There is another kit which comes with the filter and all the o-rings. But that kit is very difficult to find, at least I was not able to find it. But if you want, I can add the kit number in the description and you can try getting it. Okay, so the first step is to open the sump guard. And for that you will need a 10mm socket and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 10mm bolts which you need to undo in order to lower this sump guard. So let's do it quickly. Okay, so once this sump plate is off, you can start the engine and let it run for a bit so that it will warm up and the warm oil will drain easily. So once the engine is warm to touch, we can proceed with the next step, which is to remove the drain bolts. And to catch the oil, I'm going to use this paint bucket. So I will place it just below the drain bolts, just like this. And with the help of 70 mm key, I will just open the drain bolts. So at this point, I hit the first challenge. The drain bolts were too tight for this spanner. So I had to bring the bigger ring spanner to open it. Okay, so I bought this 17mm ring spanner and let's try to open it now. Okay, now it burst. So at this point bolt was loose but uh, it was very difficult to open as the bucket was just in the way. So I brought the socket with a long handle and I used it to open it. So there is an oil filter in the drain bolt. So use a pair of plier and remove it by pulling it out. Okay, so this is one of the filter. Similarly, there is another bolt and another filter on this side. So we have to remove those as well. So for leverage, I am using this ring spanner. Okay. 
a lot of oil came from the second drain bowl and I wasn't ready for it. So some got spilled and it made a mess. That's why you should keep a rug handy in case you need to clean your hand or any other surface. Once the oil has drained, remove the second oil filter using a pair of pliers like we did for the first one. Good thing is, both the filters are exactly same. You need not track which one goes where. You can put them back in any order. Next step is to change this oil filter and oil filter is here. And you will need a 14mm Allen key to open it. So let's do it quickly. This time I'm going to keep this rug here to catch any oil spill. Surprisingly, this is not very tight. Surprisingly, a lot of oil came from this as well. The good thing was I kept this rug to catch it, otherwise it would have made a lot of mess. And to remove the oil filter, just grab it and wiggle it out. Just like this. So this is the oil filter, you can see how dirty it has become. And you can see the part number is 574297. Okay, so clean this chamber thoroughly. Any dirt will damage the new oil, so clean it thoroughly. How clean it is now? By the way, don't expect the service center guys to clean like this. They don't have this much time to spend on a single bike, so they just do it. This is the spring to hold the oil filter. So clean the cap as well. This is also a very important step. And then simply insert this thing and it will get fixed. Okay. The next step is to install the oil filter. And at this point, this oil filter is completely dry. And if we install it like this, the engine might run dry for some time, and which is not good for any engine. So the idea is to pre-fill this uh, oil filter with some fresh oil and then we can install it so that the engine never runs dry. Rotate it so that the filter gets completely soaked in this oil. Add some more oil if required. Okay, now you can see this filter is completely soaked in the new oil. And now let's install it. Press it in its slot and once it is in the place it will not go any further and now insert the cap and now tight the cap okay so now let's clean this filter as well Okay, so now you can see the oil has stopped draining and I have cleaned the threads. So let's install the filters back. So installing the filters is very simple. Just press them into their place. Okay, just like that. Do the same with the other one. Okay, once the filters are installed, simply tighten the drain bolts. make the bolt snug and we are done here okay so now next step is to open this oil filling cap and add the fresh oil and to open it i'm going to use this pair of plier and to avoid any kind of scratches i will simply put a cloth on it and with the help of plier i will just twist it So looks like Royal Enfield Service Center guys have tightened it too much unnecessarily. You can see, despite putting the cloth, it has left marks here. Okay, anyways, let's fill the oil. So as per the manual, it will take 2.1 liters of engine oil. And this bottle is one liter. So we will add two bottles and 100 ml from the third one. Use a funnel and start adding the oil. Okay, so you can see we added 2 liters of oil and the oil level was already full. But don't be fooled by this. We need to run the engine for some time and it will suck the oil and later we will add some more. So let's start the engine. 
but before that don't forget to tight this cap After running in the engine, let it set for 10-15 minutes and then we will top up the remaining oil. So you can even see the oil level has started rising but it will settle in between somewhere and later we will top it to the maximum level. Okay, so after some time you can see the oil level has settled. Uh, it's between the full and the low level and uh, we will top it to the max level now. Okay, now this time we will keep an eye on the oil level and start filling it from the top little bit more so you can see the oil has been filled up to the max level I am not sure if it's visible on camera or not but it is just above the max level and I think that is fine so now let's tight this oil filling cap and make it snug do not over tight just like the service center guys did Okay, this is enough. Now only thing remains is to install the sub guard. So let's do it quickly. Okay, so everything is ready. Engine oil is changed. Sub guard installed. You can see these are the tools and consumables used. And now only thing remains to start the engine and check the sound. has become a little smoother but the major difference we will see when we ride this bike let's see how this smooth bike is running now so if you don't have 14 mm allen key to open this filter cap what you can do you can take a 14 mm nut and bolt set you need to take one bolt and two nuts and lock the nuts in this fashion okay so that uh, while opening you will grab this nut and while tightening you will grab this nut so simply just insert it and grab the second nut and you can open it like this and while tightening you can grab the first nut and you can tighten it like this so this was the small trick if you don't have the 14mm LNK.